Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is September 17th, 2020. It's a Thursday, or for me in Candy Crush, it is Twinkly Thursday, because I have a special event that is based on the days of the week. I guess some folks started out with Monday. I didn't get anything on Monday. On Tuesday, I got Tasty Tuesday on both of my profiles, because I have two major recording profiles set at different levels. And then on Wednesday, only one of my profiles gave me Wacky Wednesday that I was able to compete to earn boosters. And today on Thursday, I have Twinkly Thursday back on both of my profiles. Now, some people will get this and some will not. Some it'll be sporadic uh, like it was for me on one of my profiles. Some it'll be consistent. So that's how King works. If you get it, wonderful. If you don't, I'm sorry, but maybe you have other events that you have access to. So let's look at this one specifically. Twinkly Thursday. Stars are today's main ingredient. Collect them for delicious rewards. So if I click on this, I get additional information. It says, get your just desserts. Collect stars and win rewards. So I've already collected two out of the 20 stars I need. I started out with about 12 hours to be able to complete this. And so you can see here's my meter. And once it gets filled up to 20 stars, I get a color bomb and then a striped wrapped combo to be added to my cache of boosters. So the star collection is fairly straightforward. If we look at the map, we'll see that under our levels, we've got star counts. And new levels don't have any stars. So if I beat this new level that I've never beaten before, I can get up to three stars, and that'll add to my meter. I've got two, so it would give me five. But if I complete this and I only get one star, then I would have a total of three. Now for this game, what we can do is either beat new levels and collect the stars from that, up to three, or we can go back to levels where we haven't completed all of the stars. So if I go back to this you know, super hard, nightmarishly hard level and play it, I'm not going to get any additional reward. No matter how difficult it is, this is already set at three stars. I've already collected them. There's no more to collect here. So I wouldn't get any value. But if I go back and I play this level and I'm able to get enough points, it's always based on points, if I get enough points where I can get three stars, then I have an opportunity to add an extra star to my count. And then it should tell you, well, it doesn't here tell me exactly, but if I get a certain number of points, I get one star, and then I have to get huge points to get these other two stars. They're right next to each other, so I could collect them. If I can get a lot of stars, hopefully I'd get both of those at the same time. That's how I go about collecting stars. And on both of my profiles, it is star collection. But on my other profile, it is not a color a uh, color bomb and a stripe trapped combo that I get on my other profile tasty Thursday gets me a lolly hammer and here I've got three out of the 20 stars I need to get that done so again different people get different rewards that's just how it is I'm not going to bother uh, playing through and showing you because it's going to take a while to collect all those stars if I even attempt to do that. That's a lot of work for a little bit. You can go back to old levels, like I said, and play those and try to get, you know, some extra rewards. The problem is that takes a lot of time. And if, if you know, you want to do that, uh, you're certainly more than welcome to do it. On mine, it's harder because I'm in the 3000s and I'm getting three stars on most of these. So my recommendation is just go ahead and play the normal levels that you were going to play anyway, because then you make progress on your map and you have the opportunity to collect more stars because each of these has up to three. That's it for me today. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you don't have this, again, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I personally can do and there's nothing King will do. They, they say that... You know, you just have to wait. You're either in a test group or you're not, and you don't get to opt in or out. So I apologize for that. I wish I could do something I can't. But as always, feel free to ask any questions um, or put any comments that you have. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.